This gorilla is named Shibani. And they're the world's second most famous gorilla. The top spot goes to Harambe because of course he does. Harambe literally started this meme. But I didn't find out about this gorilla until I was on stream reacting to VTubers with a friend named Evan. I don't know why those two things are connected, but they are. Anyways, I find Shibani the gorilla and the first thing I see related to this gorilla is everyone calling it handsome and sexy. So Shibani the gorilla is referred to as the most handsome gorilla and was born in Eppenhole Primate Park in the Netherlands. And then he was raised in Australia. Shibani didn't start gaining popularity until he was moved to the Higashiyama Zoo in Nagoya and performed tightrope walking in 2007. This is the point in time where things started to look up for Shibani because for some reason in 2015, articles about Shibani started coming out referring to Shibani as being handsome, sexy, and metrosexual. And the metrosexual thing is really funny because it basically describes a man who takes care of himself and this gorilla is incapable of using beauty products. And all the articles about Shibani had titles similar to this. This is apparently the world's most handsome gorilla and women are flocking to the zoo to see him. After articles like that came out, not surprisingly, the zoo attendance increased. Zoo reports increase in visitors as Japan's women fall for this handsome gorilla. And that article goes on to describe Shibani as having chiseled facial features, a stoic and strong look, and kind, soulful eyes. After the media attention, of course, the city of Nagoya, the owners of the Higashiyama Zoo decided to trademark Shibani and make merchandise for Shibani, which doesn't surprise me in the slightest. People made Harambe shirts for years. For the zoo had over 150 merchandise items, such as towels and sweets, marketed after Shibani. It's estimated that 4-50% to of the Higashiyama Zoo product sales were from Shibani products, but given the huge range of that number, I think it's safe to say it's probably somewhere in the middle, around 20%. Either way, it's still a huge portion of the zoo's revenue. And of course, marketing for Shibani does not stop there. Shibani was also featured on special edition movie posters only released in Japan for Tarzan Reborn. There was also an Adobe font modeled after Shibani, and then later Adobe signed a talent contract with the Higashiyama Zoo for Shibani for him to model in their image editing software in Japan as part of a Year of the Monkey campaign, which is honestly kind of rude because he is a gorilla, not a monkey. And I looked it up just to be sure, and gorillas are not monkeys. They are considered apes before anyone in the comment section tries to correct me. Monkeys have tails. And the last time I checked, gorillas don't have tails. Shibani also got a Valentine's Day chocolate release called Alphabet Chocolate Shibani Package. And the packaging for the chocolate does not look real. I would see this and immediately assume someone made it in Photoshop for a meme. But that is an official product release modeled after Shibani. This gorilla is more successful than all of us. And that isn't the end to how this sexy gorilla has been immortalized. There's also lots of art of Shibani and it's all fantastic. A lot of which was used for promotions or magazines. Like this one used in the zoo, Shibani resides in. And this is a Lego statue in Legoland, Japan of Shibani. And it's honestly the coolest one because even though I'm not super into Legos anymore, I still think Legoland is one of the coolest theme parks. There's also lots of fan art of Shibani that's been made over the years, but it doesn't really compare to a five ton sculpture made by some guy who dedicated his life to making sculptures. Besides art pieces though, Shibani has also been featured in multiple books. But I will say it was gonna happen regardless because the books were just animals in the Higashiyama Zoo. But something out of left field is that Shibani was featured as a character in two games. Therme Rome Gotcha and Mysterious Bear. So this gorilla has accomplished more than all of us. And with that being said, like and subscribe down below, leave a comment down below as well, and click the answer to check out more of my content and have a good one.